Nobody feels comfortable begging, but if situation demands, you have to supply. When people celebrate you for who you are today, among them, it is important you identify those who you can rely on tomorrow when you are faced with difficulty. Because skyscrapers of today could be short tomorrow. Taxi tin 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 taxi tin 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 and yet taxi driver ne vivo. Hey onua. Hey onua. Ah, in the generation, I know you are lost. <laughs> uh, I'm talking about this man. He was one of the leading role actors in the Ghanaian movie industries in the 90s and the early 2000s. At that time, most of you were not born. I know that. <laughs> so this man was very famous and everybody liked him because he was really good at, at his job. Many years down the line, things have changed for him. What to eat has become difficult and where to sleep is now becoming difficult because I just saw on social media that he was seeking for financial assistance to pay his rent. So lots of people are asking questions, where is his family, where are his friends, where is the movie industry and are they tired of helping him or what? These are some of the few questions people are asking. Another thing a lot of people raise is that it's good we plan our future. Yes, we have some little control of ourselves, you understand. It is very good we plan our future, we put some money down, we make some investment for our future. Today there we are strong, everything that we, we work, we must work into the future. So tomorrow we can feed ourselves, we can take over our responsibility. That's very good. But sometimes we don't know people's situation. We don't know whether they've planned and it really didn't work. We don't know. So we can't totally just judge and say that is his situation. That's point number one. Another thing is that if you plan your life and Allah says your plan is not going to manifest, it's not going to be true, trust me, it's going to fail. It's, you're going to come back to zero. So let's not judge people in that aspect. But on the, in, in the, on the face value, I agree with you when you say we should plan ourselves. That's very right. Personally, I have problems when people display their issues or some people display other people's issues in public. But now I have come to understand that sometimes it's not their fault. After trying different sources and it doesn't work, the only choice that is left for them is to use their fame to seek for help. If we will observe, at the time he was at a peak in the movie industry, he never brought these issues up. But why now? What I have come to understand is that as a man, sometimes we need to take some decisions. Instead of allowing himself and his family to be thrown out of the house, which is a bigger disgrace, it is better for him to put his pride aside and then bring and then seek for help outside, which is a smaller disgrace compared to him being thrown out of the house. Social media is very powerful. Who knows? He might get enough help more than he required. So if you want to support him, 0559-234-834. Above me, Sadi. Presence. And that is where I want us to learn some lessons from. Point number one, a lot of us have pride. We feel too much embarrassed to ask for help. But we all know that Allah tests us. Today you are rich, tomorrow you are poor. Today you are strong, tomorrow you are weak. You can't even work to fend for yourself. So you probably if you try different ways to help yourself and you are not able, why not seek for help? Why not ask people, you understand? This to me is not a disgrace. When you ask for help or when you seek for help, those that will feel sorry for you are there. Those that will support you are there. Those that will use it to mock you are there. So don't let your hatred for those who will mock you prevent you from giving opportunity for those who will support you. Basically, what I'm trying to say is that don't let your hatred for those who will mock you prevent you from seeking help. Because if you don't seek help today that you have some strength, tomorrow when you lose everything, those that will mock you will still come and mock you again. So this life is flip, backflip, backflip. We do not have total control of our life, no matter what you do. If Allah wish to turn your strength to weakness, you can never do anything. We have brothers and families who have traveled abroad. Things are not going on well with them. Instead of them to come back home, they feel like if they come home, people will mock them. So they are still there. So you see the person 20 years, 30 years, he's still there and he doesn't have anything. That is rubbish. Again, you have some people leave villages like here and then go to city. They go to Accra or some, some parts of the country far from home. You understand? They go there to work, to bring home, to bring something home. But things are not going on well with them. The person is seriously sick, very sick. Instead of him to come back home to seek for help, the person says, if I come home, they will mock me. Because people will mock him, he will not come home. This kind of thinking is rubbish. 
I am no way encouraging begging, but we all know situations can make you beg or seek help. And that is not bad. Nobody feels comfortable begging, but if situation demands, you have to supply. That is why in Islam, helping a traveler or someone in need is a big deal. You earn a lot of rewards for doing that. So from now, if you have a problem and you feel like it is a disgrace or you feel like if you ask for help, people will use it to mock you. Therefore, you will not go and seek for help. That kind of feeling is not right. We are going to 2022. Stop that rubbish. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.